Hello and welcome to this video on how to look up a picture in Excel using the XLOOKUP function. And for this demonstration, I have this dashboard that I created as part of the Excel Hash 2021 contest. And there's a link in the description of this video for you to see more about that and how it was created. But for now, what we need to do is look up the image of the winner and the first loser in this contest. And you can see the winner is Angela and the first loser is Alexander. We want to return the image of them. So to do that, the first thing you need is you need those images. And here, I have my range of names and then the two images for each individual. We have the winner image and also the first loser image. And these are actually the cutout people available in Excel, but they could be any image. And something that is essential is that the picture must fit inside the cell. So if I was to click on this winner image of James, you can see that it easily fits inside that cell. And the same for Sherry here, or the other image of Sherry. Because it is enclosed in that cell, we can return that image by referencing that cell, by looking up that cell. Now VLOOKUP cannot do this. VLOOKUP can only return values. But we can do this with an index match combination. And I did a video on that seven years ago, can you believe? And here we are now to use XLOOKUP. After making sure you have those images and they're perfectly fit inside the cell, the next step is to insert an image here. And for this example, I'm just going to quickly insert any kind of stock image. I'm not really interested for now. So this picture here would be Perfect, it's quite a nice picture. And let me just resize that a little, not that it matters that much for now. Whereas this is maybe not a great uh, kind of filler image, but it does the job for an example here. Now with that done, now we need the formula. We need XLOOKUP. This is step number three. Now we will write the XLOOKUP function into a cell on the worksheet but it's not going to work there. It needs to be used in a define name. And then we can assign that define name to our placeholder image. But let's write it into the worksheet first so we get a bit of help putting it together and then simply copy and paste it into the name manager afterwards. So it's equals XLOOKUP. The lookup value is the winner name Angela which is AH2 as a reference. Let's make that absolute and move on to lookup array. Now moving over to the data sheet, that will be the list of names. If I select the list of names, comma, and then the return array, I'm just going to copy the lookup array, copy and paste, and change the B to a C. I could have selected the selection of winning poses there, in column C, and that's not difficult, but it can be awkward. I don't want to accidentally move an image, so I think it's more reliable just to copy, paste, and change that. Close bracket, I'm going to take a copy of that formula, Control C, and then run it by pressing Enter. And no surprise, it doesn't work in a cell. It's not going to return the value from a cell. So now it's up to Formulas tab, define name, let's name it winner, and simply paste our XLOOKUP function into the refers to area. When I click OK, that's created. And the final step is to assign it to the image. So if I select the placeholder image in the formula bar, equals winner. And when I press enter, it is returning the winner which is Angela. But if the name was to change, if we had a different winner, 
then that image would automatically change. Now in that winner cell, I actually have a formula in there. I have a filter function used in these Power Query data types. It's very, very cool. And you can see more about that in the description of this video where you can access this workbook and you can also view uh, my video on it. But to see this in action for now, let me just type over that formula and change it. So let's go for Ursula. And when I press enter, it returns the image of Ursula. So that could have been a drop down list. It could have been changed as part of a formula. And we have just created this picture lookup using XLOOKUP in Excel. Remember, there are other alternatives such as the index match for those of you who do not have XLOOKUP yet. There's also a way of doing it with indirect. But the important steps really were that you need to have that list of images that are fully enclosed in a cell. And we also use the name manager with all of those techniques. Now, why don't you have a go at returning the picture for the first loser, Alexander in cell 82 there for some practice. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out the other videos on our channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click that subscribe button so that you can be sure to receive the latest Excel videos.